Oh, let's just start with the reading for the collective. That one is doing very amazing. Hope you're feeling productive, safe, loved, hopeful, peaceful, productive. All right. What does the collective need to know that is watching this video? What is going on? What is the primary energy? Wow, Six of Cups. Nine of Coins. So, this is somebody who might want to come back from the past. Six of Cups is all about unconditional love, sweet love, memories, good memories, nostalgia. Um, this could also be someone who you have a connection to that feels like you've known them forever. It's very comfortable with this nine of, nine of coins under the deck. This is all about a feminine energy who is very independent. They've put a lot of work into something and they're reaping the rewards. Um, so someone might want to come towards this, this person who is doing well, independently. Um, someone's having memories of, wow, so <laughs> this wanted to come out. I actually feel like it comes out together. We have the lovers reverse under the deck. So there could be some type of a breakup or a divorce or a broken contract. Um, which I just did a reading on, so this could be a continuation of that energy. Um, I feel this is the third reading where the Lover's Reverse has come out in a row. Chariot Reverse. Someone just is very unstable. They feel like they've lost control. They feel like they're defeated at the last moment. Um, they might feel like they don't have this, you know, control of the environment around them. Like if you feel weak, willed, willed, like they've lost, lost. This could be someone who's out of control. Um, Ace of Cups. There could be some type of new love here in your life. This could also, this stands for joy, self-love, a new beginning. We have Lovers Reverse again under the deck. So, some type of a breakup and this could be you, uh, you know, someone wants a new beginning with you that you know from the past where there was unconditional love. Um, wow, death. They could be, yeah, yeah, there's an ending here. Death card came out also in the last read. Um, there's a very... There's a final ending. Um, this could also mean someone from the past um, can't come back because you're in the beginning of a new relationship and uh, there's no looking back. Without Lovers Reverse, though, I feel like this person is going through a very um, serious ending. Yeah, this is like a huge transformation. Especially with this lover's reverse here. Some, something's over. Something's over. Someone could be getting a divorce and wants to come back to someone where there was unconditional love. Someone who's been taking care of themselves. Someone who's done well on their own. Who's very independent. Someone who is very loving. Um, or someone's watching you move on, move forward, and they feel like they've lost control. Um... Yeah, or there could be someone here who feels like they've lost control of two people because they want to keep them apart. They could be going through an ending. Um, page of coins reverse in the subconscious. This is bad business. This is um, blocking potential, blocking an offer, blocking a uh, proposal. Not, not getting an offer, not getting a proposal. This could be someone who never gave you an offer 
or try to block your offers or they could feel like their things aren't coming in for them and that's what's in their subconscious um well the hierophant in the recent past so this could be someone who follows the rules um they can belong to a you know they could be very religious and um you know there are things that are socially acceptable they go by the rules and as long as everyone goes by the rules everything's fine there isn't a lot of venturing out there could be someone that is um the a leader of a church or a religious organization or some type of institution that is significant here maybe that they're making a judgment call on something we'll clarify to see what the significance is of this person um, this could, it could be tradition, marriage, religion, um, but it's in the upright, so, I mean, it can be very judgmental and dogmatic. It doesn't have to be. Um, this could be initiation as well. Um, this could be someone that is a leader in the organization or institution or religious organization that sees you in a particular way, that some type of approval. Um, we do have an Emperor Reverse here. Um, and this Ace of Cups again in the upright. Um, someone doesn't want to evolve and um, things aren't coming in for them. They didn't want to grow. Um, Page of Wands reversed, they could be receiving bad news. Um, or they could have done something with a message that they shouldn't have. There could be something in a message that implicates them. Expectations, Ten of Wands with this star. So they feel like, I don't know if they want to come towards this person here, this star energy. So someone's very burdened. Um, they have a lot on their shoulders and they might want to come towards someone who represents this star energy, someone who's very maybe spiritual or healing or born to shine someone that they see as their wish come true or wishes coming true for someone um someone who's very forward thinking a visionary so someone could want to come towards this person they could see this person as with the six of cups nine of coins Someone that they loved from the past who's been just doing well independently and they can really see their life with this person. Um, someone could also be, they could be this emperor in reverse that is thinking about someone from the past, the unconditional love. There's could be some type of a separation um, and they could be feeling like they've lost control of their life, you know, a few wrong turns and it's all shattering to pieces. They could feel like Ten of Wands, you know, it's a 10 so something has to be let go of. It's it's a cycle that's done. This particular Ten of Wands, this person's looking upwards, but most of the time they're so burdened they can't even remember what they, the reason they started and their head is down. Um, this person seems to have a little bit more um, control of all of these tasks. They, they could work hard. They could have a lot of responsibilities. This could also be someone seeing you as someone who's held everything together by yourself and um, the burden that you've um, sort of taken on all on your own is going to lead towards this healing or this born to shine energy. I don't know if someone wants to come to you with their burdens or they feel like you carry these burdens all on your own and it leads to this um, very brilliant future for you. And that Ace of Cups under the deck again. So someone could watch you moving forward with love in your heart or having a new beginning with someone or you, you're open to new love. This can be a King of Wands reverse, someone who tends to be, you know, it's wands, so maybe very arrogant. Uh, this could be a player. 
they could be very attractive, but also just throw people under the bus, you know, they burn people, very full of themselves. Um, this could also be someone who's not, who's lacking in confidence. Um, near future, lover's reverse. So whatever this lover's reverse situation is, is carrying on into the future. We have a queen of wands under the deck. So, you know, this is a feminine energy who's very confident and independent and um, creative who's warm and can be the life of the party or well-loved. They're glowing, they're healthy. So I just don't know if someone is like going through a breakup here and they're looking at you. Um, yeah. Seven of coins reverse, they feel like they put all their time and energy into the wrong thing. Um, you've carried these burdens on your own and you're really gonna do a lot more than cross the finish line. Um, they remember you as it was unconditionally loving. The lens they're looking through is justice reverse and five of wands reverse. Um, Tower reverse, I feel like this might want to come out as well. So there's some type of karma playing out. Someone could be trying to keep their emotions in. There could be an outburst, someone wants to erupt. Um, there could be a lot of infighting. Um, someone could feel like they're in a situation that's unfair. Um, someone could have done something very unfair to you and someone sees it. Um, a lot of people doing underhanded things behind the scenes. Um, something could be very shocking here that someone's trying to hold back something that was very unjust. Because it could um, destroy their whole foundation. But I'm going to clarify what that is because this, it could go several ways. Um, in the environment or the energy that's affecting this situation or how people see this person. Ten of coins. So this person could be in an environment where there's a lot of money. Um, there could be a lot of money around you or this is some type of business or situation that's very, there's a lot of wealth around this person. Um, this person could have come from, have family money. Uh, this person could have built a business. This could be some situation that you're in or that you're building. Because right after the nine is the 10 and it's in the environment. I feel like this person might see you as a 10 of coins or this could be the ace of cups that's coming your way. Um, there's something about someone being rejected here. A high priestess reverse. Four of Wands reverse, someone trying to secretly block someone's way, wanting someone to be rejected, wanting to block someone's happy home, their milestones, maybe even a marriage that's connected to this Ten of Coins. So something's not working though, because if there's this luxurious lifestyle, this generational wealth in the environment, um, there's it seems like something's unfolding for you here. Um, I also feel like the star is about being seen as well. Um, dreams coming true. That you've carried this burden all on your own. Um, but this coins, this ten of coins, are pe there's multiple people here. This could be a family, a family business. It's, it'd be a life of luxury and money that grows itself exponentially. This is a um, very stable family energy. Um, devil is the hopes and fears. So this person could feel haunted by, by something in their life. Um, they could have, they could be feeling like they embrace some situation that's very dark and it's coming back to haunt them. They can't get rid of it. Um, they could have some type of obsessive behavior, addictive behavior that they can't beat. Um, 
They could be obsessed with you, jealous of you. They could be associated with someone who's jealous and obsessed with you and they feel like it's going to um, backfire because this person can't control themselves. Um, Yeah, they, they feel like they've, they've done something that, that is like, their, their soul feels unclean, like they can't overcome it. It could also be the way that they feel you probably see them. Um, just someone who's very toxic, someone who embraces toxic, shady, shadowy, people, surroundings, environments, events, and participates in those things. Um, hopes and fears, yeah. They could be worried like they can't control themselves, especially because they want to get out of some nightmare and they're watching you overcome some type of heartache. So this could be someone who really feels like you're their shining light or the only shining light they've, they've ever had or now they see you as this shining light and they want to come to you with these burdens <sighs> they could be really involved with with this devil card here something that's very unholy as well it could be connected to an empress reverse someone who um you know is jealous insecure manipulative conditionally loving Someone who causes trouble, drains people. Um, they could be very, they could be very jealous and insecure. Um, maybe, yeah, I don't know what they think this person might do. Um, outcome: Page of Wands reverse. Some type of bad, bad news. Um, Eight of Wands under the deck. This could be something going on online. This could be um, Eight of Wands, fastest moving card in the deck. Someone falling in love, someone traveling quickly. There could be travel involved here with this chariot. Sometimes chariot feels like a car or movement to me. With this Eight of Wands, this is somebody maybe who wants to travel quickly towards you. Maybe send a message. Um, this could be someone witnessing you fall in love. Or someone is falling in love with you and they know about this situation. Could be that as well. They might know that you, you have some type of burden here, but whoever this is might have faith in you. I feel like Star also has to do with faith and hope. Um, okay, so, so let's clarify, let's get the details of what this, this is. Six of Cups, nine, nine of Coins. Is this someone who is thinking about someone from the past where there was unconditional love who is now doing very well independently? Uh, is this someone who, someone who's very independent? Um, someone is thinking about them in a very nostalgic way. It's like sweet love. Someone has some sort, I know someone has some sort of sweet love for this Nine of Coins person. Someone who's very independent. I'm trying to figure out who it is. Who, who is this? Um, clarify the Six of Cups. Sorrow Reverse. They weren't in sorrow or they wish that they could fix it. Or they see you're not in sorrow. Faithfulness, Lord. So, yeah, it's something about someone here being faithful to you, being your ally, being close to you. So again, I'm not sure if someone is... This person seems to be in the upright, but because it's a Six of Cups, it could be someone from the past, but... I feel like someone could be witnessing you with this Ace of Cups or someone has these feelings for you and someone else knows that you're moving forward 
or that this person from, from the past wants to come towards you and be faithful or they remember, you know, they wish that they were that version of themselves. They had the chance, they lost it and they feel like they're defeated. Um, Excuse me. This could also be someone else who um, someone is breaking up with that feels like someone's coming towards you. Um, I'm just going to get the archetype cards out and see if we can't figure out whose energy this is. So this could be someone who wants to set things right for you. Or there's someone here that is very upset and wants to cause problems because they're obsessed or jealous. Knight. So yeah, this is some sort of chivalrous romantic feeling. Um, feels like, I don't know if someone is watching someone come towards you, detective. Yeah, just when I was saying watching, we have detective here. This could be someone who's making something right for you. Someone that sees you as very angelic. Someone could be watching this happen. Yeah, prince. There's some sort of romantic feelings in regards to you, but then there's someone here who is a trickster. Yeah, there's something, there is a feminine energy here who is someone that tried to sabotage you and bully you. We saw that with the Empress Reverse. Yeah, everything is all about money for this person. This person is not innocent. Um, they try to play God in your life. They could be also someone that doesn't believe in God or taps into lower vibrational spiritual practices. There could be something going on where someone wants to mediate on your behalf, someone who um, is very just. Someone could be doing something in the background um, to help you, or this could be someone who previously worked against you behind the scenes, either personally or professionally, and now they want to fix it. Or there's someone here that knows someone is helping you. Someone definitely has romantic feelings for you, for sure. I feel like maybe someone wants to fix what they did. Or someone sees things working out for you. There's definitely someone here that, there's Ace of Cups, there's definitely new love here. And it's showing up as in the in, in the upright. So, yeah, Avengers here again. Someone who wants to balance the scales of justice. A seeker. Maybe wants to start new or watching you start new. But there is a thief here. So... it challenges authority to affect social change so when someone wants to come towards you from the past and make something right and they they are feeling like they can you know they were with this dilettante someone who was just basically very pretentious person that tried to sabotage you, someone that feels like they're better than you, 
or try to convince themselves and everyone else, someone who's obsessed with you that trying to squash you, um, someone could have aligned themselves with that person, with this lover's reverse here, they could have married that person, gotten into some type of contract or deal with that person, and now they want to fix it. Or there's some type of a divorce or separation happening here or a broken contract, and someone sees you not in sorrow in some new relationship that almost feels like it feels like a soulmate. Um, and they feel like they've lost control of you or the situation. It's difficult to know who this is. Let's see. Chariot reverse. Someone feels like they lost control. A foe. Someone who's your foe feels like they lost control. There could be a child involved. It definitely has to do with someone feeling romantic for you. Someone being your counterpart here. So someone who is your enemy or working against you feels like they've lost control or they're going to lose control. They're going to lose it because they're so obsessed. Um, because someone's faithful to you. Yeah, someone's romantic and feels it's like your friend or faithful. Someone's very jealous. Someone could be an expert at something that's helping you. Um, Page of Coins Reverse. With that detective card here too, they could be more voyeuristic than you realize. Really, you know, too, too close for comfort as far as your information, what you're doing. Um, Page of coins reverse. Someone didn't propose. Someone trying to block an offer. Um, they feel like they're not getting an offer. They could be taking something personal that's happening in your life that's positive that has nothing to do with them. With the sorrow reverse, you know, you're not in sorrow. Yeah. Um, melancholy reverse. It's something about someone's emotions are based on what you do or don't get. They didn't get something and you're not melancholy. There could be a mother figure or a matriarch involved going through their own ending here or a matriarch caused an ending or was trying to create an ending and it didn't work. There, there is someone here who's religious or someone who's like very spiritual, like a masculine energy who's in the upright here. I don't know if there's some type of like communication or transaction with this person. They could represent this hierophant. It could be in your energy. I feel like they're the, the Avenger. Um, that's good. Let's see, what do we need to know about this Hierophant? Service Reverse. Someone could feel like if someone's helping you, they're not helping them. This leader. Or someone might know, yeah, they might not get help from this person or organization anymore, or there's someone here that wants to repair something in regards to your business or your reputation because someone was trying to lower your status. Um, yeah, lover. It's like approval or initiation or Someone here in a position of authority that delegates the rules that people follow. Something positive going on with this person. This could also be, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, Ten of Wands, the star. So someone feels like you carried a burden all on your own. And it leads to this healing, this um, brilliance in your life. 
um, this innovation, uh, hope, a spiritual connection even, um, something very bright and inspiring. Um, I don't know if someone's bringing this, wants to bring this burden to you or they feel like you helped yourself, you did everything on your own, you didn't drop any of these tasks, these brooms, and there's some type of a completion because of this Ten of Wands. Um, sweetheart Reverse. Someone wasn't able to steal from you. They lost you. There could be something, a problem with a child. Someone could be uh, pregnant around this person. Doesn't have to be, but they can be in despair because there's this child here and Ten of Wands is like a heavy burden. So this could be someone carrying like a child. Um, there could be a wife. There's a wife reverse here, so someone could be married. Someone who wanted to destroy you. This could be this dilettante energy, someone who was trying to sabotage you. Um, there's, but there's a masculine energy in the upright. And there could be money attached to this whole situation that's driving people. Um... Yeah, where they don't want two people to get married or something like that. And there's some type of a message or messages going back and forth that are connected to all this about this masculine energy or from this mas masculine energy or to this masculine energy. Lovers reversed or some type of a breakup or something going on in the near future. Room reverse. Someone, um, maybe they don't want to be alone. Someone who people see as false. Um, but there is a religious person here that might be having a conversation with someone. Or someone who's very spiritual. Um, maybe someone who's a business person. Um, or someone is, yeah, someone is on someone's side here. And... For that, someone is in despair. Um, Justice reverse, five of wands reverse, the tower reverse. Um, going on here some type of strife or someone's doing something unjust or someone sees that people are doing something unjust underhanded that are in competition with you um maybe someone's trying to avoid a tower with these people despair there's a lot of people unhappy it has to do with something not being over or someone not taking a loss it has to do with someone helping someone it has to do with someone's status and a problem with a child. Um, yeah, definitely something about a lot of money. Yeah, which we see right here, Ten of Pentacles. Um, why is this Ten of Pentacles in the environment? Servant. Someone's helping someone with money. Or someone who has a lot of resources is is helping someone or they're on someone's side. Priest. This could be someone who's religious that comes from like a well-to-do family. Or someone who's religious with a very stable business. This could be windfall. This could be also some type of inheritance. someone helping you and there's a lot of resources this could be like a powerful family or someone that owns a company 
someone helping you with capital, someone helping you with an inheritance. This could be someone that has a lot of, that's religious or very spiritual in the upright that um, is advocating for you somehow. Um, hopes and fears the devil. Wow, wife character just came out. So it does, it has to do with this feminine energy. Something toxic, someone is either obsessed or someone's worried about someone that's obsessed, what they'll do. Someone trying to drag someone. Um, someone will go to the lowest of lows to win. Um, someone feels haunted by this person. Um, consolation, I see. So someone's praying, they want to pray to someone is very spiritual or very religious they're praying to god there's something about this devil energy um that they want to overcome or that they are very serious about blocking this could be like a religious leader or somebody with a, a, like a powerful position or a lot of money behind them or around them that's religious, that religious leader, institutional leader, but they're, they're someone that believes in God or they pray, you know, to God or it's very, this person is making some type of prayers, healing prayers in regards to this devilish energy that's connected to a wife. And it has to do with two people coming together. They're making some type of prayers. Yeah, it has to do with love. Being being with you. There's someone here praying on your behalf or praying to be with you. They're praying. It has to do with someone being obsessed. Some sort of toxic energy. Who's maybe trying to block something from coming your way. Or block them from coming your way. Maybe because of a child. Or someone who's very childish. Someone who wasn't able to steal something from you. That's angry. That's very toxic. Someone where is they're trying to block love. Or someone that this person doesn't have loving feelings for. Um, outcome. Page of Wands. There could be also someone who's very toxic that's afraid of someone here that prays to God. So I just feel like there's a lot of, um, there's definitely someone here that's religious. That has like a personal relationship to God because they're praying here. So they could be like a religious leader or just very faith driven. And I feel like they're advocating for you. Um, it's like they know what's going on with this situation. Um... Yeah, there's something, but they know that there's something very toxic going on with someone's wife or someone that someone committed to, and it's very toxic. Extremely toxic, and someone's praying to God about it. This could be a business person. Yeah. This, this is someone who takes things seriously. Um, as far as spiritually or, yeah, their beliefs, um, they take this toxic energy very, very seriously. Um, that's what someone's afraid of or someone here is praying to God about this devilish energy connected to a jealous wife or feminine energy. And maybe there's a child as well involved. Um, it's going to be someone that wants to get out of sorrow and fix something and come towards you. Um, they feel like they lost control being your enemy. Or this is someone who's watching you move forward. Or someone that you don't know that this very... Or that you do know. Or someone that you haven't had a relationship with. This is like new love. Someone definitely feels romantic towards you. Someone is definitely praying 
for you, praying for a relationship, praying to heal something, praying to God. Maybe this is someone who um, went the wrong way and is turning to their faith or the church or wherever they pray to ask for redemption. Um, outcome, widower, reverse, page of wands, reverse, some type of bad news and connection to someone, um, being, taking a loss or not taking a loss or not passing away or something like that. It has to do with someone who wasn't able to steal something that people see as false. Let's do one more pass and see if we can't get more de detail. So, someone religious who's praying to God about you. Someone here feels, I think it could be the same person, feels like they love you. They feel romantic energy. They feel... Yeah, but there's someone here who's like a thief, though. Could be someone who wants redemption. Someone might have thought that something was like a lucky adventure and it turned out it was a very devilish dark situation and now they're like wishing and hoping that they could come back to you you've been doing everything on your own um or there's someone else here that knows about a situation that's very toxic um that is coming towards you or or there is someone coming towards you and there's this person from the past that wants to redeem themselves they don't want to i feel like this is someone who is like i don't know they could have had a child with someone or there could be a problem with a child and now they feel like they married into a situation that is extremely volatile very haunting um it's like they f are afraid for their soul is what it seems like yeah they feel like they were manipulated um but i feel like they could because we see that ace of cups maybe they want a new beginning with you or there's someone here another person here that you're in a relationship with or that is also religious or that is a leader some type of a leader here and there's a lot of resources around this person um it's kind of unclear who i feel like there's there could potentially be two masculine energies in your you know the Six of Cups towards you, you know, seeing you as a sweetheart, seeing you as someone who's really done well on their own. There's definitely a connection here. This could be someone remembering a connection, or this could be someone who feels a connection with you. Um, strategy reverse. If someone feels like they didn't plan something, they feel real haunted. Something about a family. They didn't plan something well. They feel real haunted in regards to a family. They were in some type of a daydream. Um, someone that was your foe, they feel like they lost control. Um, they feel like they, they could be in danger even. Or they've had some type of accident. They've got to be very cautious because they have a foe. Someone sees you as someone that's really, you know, a loving person that is very independent with strong self-esteem, 
you love yourself, you treat yourself well. Um, something's not over for you. There could be someone who's sick and worried about passing on or something like that, and that could be what's driving them to turn to God. Someone really could be afraid for their soul here. They could be really in despair over the injustice that they are around, that they surrounded themselves with. There could be a lot of infighting, a lot of underhanded behavior. Um, and they just see this going in a really bad direction and they want to fix it, turn to God, and head towards you. They don't want to be manipulated anymore. Um, yeah, they feel cursed. There's something bigger, a bigger picture than what they saw before. Um, death reverse. They could be real sick and worried about passing on. Um... I mean, if this is like a family member, it could be a family member who was working against you that, you know, sees you heading into a new relationship and wants to redeem themselves. But I feel like this is maybe, yeah, maybe an ex. It's a little bit complicated because I feel like there is someone else in your energy. There's some sort of romantic and something going on in your energy that's romantic. It feels like it could be someone else. And I do feel like there's an ex here. And I do feel like there's a feminine energy, a jealous feminine energy. And there's this whole group here where there's this like dysfunction, fighting, bad energy, drama, a lot of, you know, karma playing out. Things are, things are on, on their, their tipping point. Things are not good for a whole group here. And somebody definitely feels like they went the wrong way with a plan and you're this, they rem remember this love from you. They want to stop something. So this could be someone who's involved with a group that was attacking you. They could have been, now they're feeling like they were manipulated and whoever this is that they were connected to is very dark and they want to fix, they want to turn to God and fix it. Um, hmm. I'm definitely feeling someone else in your energy though too. Adventure reverse. This wasn't an adventure. They didn't get what they, you know, they did bad business. They didn't get this adventure. We're trying to block you. They didn't, they didn't get what they thought. Um, yeah, they want to stop or if they were trying to cause stagnation for you. Um, it, they didn't get an adventure out of it. And not only that, you seem to be doing pretty well. You seem, you seem good. Um, there was something going on with this group of people, indulgence, gluttony. You know, this insular group of people, um, playing off of each other's energy in a downward spiral, doing very toxic, negative, mean, hurtful, hateful things. And this is very self-destructive, but maybe it seemed like it was fun or adventure or they were winning, but really this was like all very karmic, very toxic, bad karma. Um, there's a hierophant here, service reverse. Someone 
could have gone to a religious leader and asked for help and they got turned down. Or... Profession reverse. It's about someone not helping someone. It has to do with someone's career. Um, there's some type of memories here. Someone not helping a sweetheart. With someone, someone didn't help someone with their, their, their job, their career, their profession. The sweetheart might, might have bad memories of someone. Someone didn't help them. Or someone's remembering the sweetheart and they didn't help them. <laughs> and now they feel like there's something bigger than them. There's something big, much bigger. There's some fate playing out. And it's like they're seeing it all. They feel like they weren't learning lessons. Now they feel like they had multiple opportunities to learn or change. And they didn't take them. Um, they didn't see that people were... They didn't care about your nightmare that people were trying to create for you. There was something about a promise that someone made and someone was being very mean. Um, yeah. Trying to stop you in your life. Trying to stop something that's faded as well. Something that's very positive and beautiful. Something that belongs to a bigger picture than these people or really anyone. So it's like fighting the, fighting the universe and embracing this negative devilish energy. They feel like they were blind. They weren't seeing seeing it. Now they feel cursed. Um, they might want to come to you with this burden. Um, they see you as maybe someone that can help them. Um, or you handled everything on your own. Loneliness. They left you alone or they feel lonely without you. Um, there's something about someone making someone a promise. They feel like they were blind to a situation. Someone wasn't able to steal something from you. Um, you weren't overly preoccupied with fancy things or fancy appearances. And you, you know, someone was in a daydream and you were handling... You know, you picked up everything and did it all yourself. Someone might feel like they're going to be lonely without you. It has to do with a promise. Someone else could be making you a promise because you handled everything on your own and you're getting to this light here. Um, and they could feel like they're going to be lonely without you. Yeah, there's a bigger picture here that they are now seeing. They feel like they now see a bigger picture. Um, there could have to, it could be also connected to the stability that they thought that they had with this devilish energy. The lovers reverse, some type of a breakup going on or continuing. Perseverance, someone can't keep going with something. Yeah. And they see you as this very calm person with a lot of inner peace and that's leading to this triumph and victory and success and achievement for you um and there's a promise here i don't know if they want to come towards you and you know after they worked against you in this fantasy with this very dark situation with this jealous person and these people that were trying to block your way this seems like this person discarded you broke a promise went and lived a fantasy that was very gluttonous and now um, is afraid for their soul. They feel very haunted. Um, there's something about a promise. They can't keep something going anymore in the near future. Some situation where there's no connection. There's a breakup here. It, it's all connected to an injustice. It's just making their life everything is falling apart because of a choice they made and because of what they participated in, and they're seeing it now. 
so they want to get out of it. Um, the injustice had to do with you. You handled something all on your own while they were in some sort of dream state here. Um, and now it's like they see you as this wish come true. Um, they, maybe they feel like they're always going to be burdened by what you meant to them, that you were a blessing or watching you receive blessings. They might want to come towards you because they feel like you have this very um, blessed energy. You know, yeah. Yeah, they did. They went too far with something. Someone could be sick from overindulging in something. It's like they, you know, they say like a, people go into a, a sleep coma or whatever that's called, but it might not just not sleep coma, food coma, but it's not just food. It's like going so far into something that it's like they wasted time. They, they, you know, treated people horribly. They destroyed, they were destructive. They were um, helping people that were creating dramas. Um, and it was all very destructive. Um, yeah, they were, did, refused to live and learn. This was not a situation to grow in. And they feel like they saw plenty of signs and now they, they feel cursed. There could have been a lot of hate involved here as well. Yeah, and they just kept maintaining whatever this is. They just kept maintaining and maintaining. They never apologized to you about a promise that they made or there seems like there was something there and they discarded you, left you hanging. They never offered you any closure. Um, yeah, now they feel like they were blind to the the strength, the inner strength that you have. Um, they could feel like people were manipulating them or they were easily manipulated because of money. Now they're in despair. They participated in some sort of injustice. Yeah, it has to do with some people they were listening to that didn't really know the way about a blessing. Something was a blessing. It's like all these people are going the wrong way, trying to block you from getting any help. Um, there could be problems with uh, real estate or some type of, um, you know, investment or money, a lot of infighting going on. They're in despair because these people, um, they destroy, they don't create. And that's who they went and indulged with. And they threw you under the bus. And now they're sick and unwell and feeling haunted and cursed. And, um, thinking back about how they left things, what they left you with, what they did here. Um, I do feel like there's someone helping you, though. There's something else going on. Ten of coins. Unless this is you, you've got this ten of coins and they want help from you. Um, it's maybe there's someone else here. I feel like there's other romantic energy around you. Um... Someone here who has a lot of self-esteem. Saving, gluttony, origin. Uh, well, this could be a situation where they dedicated themselves out of ego to a group of people because there was a lot of luxury. There still could be people around them that have a lot of money. They could be trying to um, make it appear like there's a lot of money or 
I get one more for this Ten of Pentacles. Marriage reverse, overload reverse, stop. I mean, they could be trying to act like they're not overloaded. But there seems like there's a divorce here. Something was not merit making. So they could have people, a lot of people around them with resources, like their outer circle or something like that. They could be trying to keep up appearances, but there seems to be a, like a divorce going on here. But this could be someone else in your energy. Whoever they're with, they have no, no connection to. They're not gaining anything. Um, but it's like, there's a lot of me meanness and stinginess. Um, a lot of persuasion, people trying to persuade someone here. Um, someone, people trying to act like they're not worried, like they don't feel haunted. Um, from something that feels very, very dark. Um, yeah, and gluttonous. Um, hopes and fears, devil. They don't want to, they feel like they're worried about their soul or something, something about maybe substance use, jealousy. It has to do with a, a feminine energy that they committed to. Goal reverse. That someone's going to try to block or stop them and ruin their blessing or ruin their luck or that this person already did this yeah try to stop them from committing um or they're afraid of this person because they feel like that's what this person was doing the whole time when there was something here bigger meant for them um some a bigger picture something much more grand and that they were unaware of or that they were blind to and they feel like this person knew knew something. Um, they could have left a whole family behind or they could have neglected you or didn't start a family with you. Um, or they, this is like a family that doesn't really truly care about them. Um, someone could have made up a conflict about you that never existed. There was never a conflict. Someone created a conflict out of thin air. So someone attacked you. Yeah, they just feel like they were blind to something here. It could have to do with religion. They could have just trusted people because the situation on the surface seemed very religious. And they knew, they, they felt like they did. Why would they have to ask questions? Um, everything on seems, seemed normal on the surface. Um, but there was something else going on, much more insidious. Much more insidious. Maybe something even ritualistic, very dark going on in this situation. Um, someone could have been trying to stop someone from helping you. Um, and it could have been a collaboration. And it was led by this toxic, jealous devilish person and it has to do with your fate or a bigger picture um and money i feel like this person they didn't gain anything from this and you're too spiritually aligned for whatever this is and they can feel like these memories are all becoming very clear uh, in regards to you, they didn't start a family with you, they didn't care for you, or they left the family behind. There's nothing but sweet memories. I could feel like they threw away their luck. Outcome page of wands reverse, widower reverse. Some type of stagnation, an ending, bad news. Someone could be very, you know, not well, and they feel like you're A-OK. -okay. Um, they wish that they, you're not worried, you're A-OK. -okay. Someone might want to send a message to you. Um, I 
someone might have felt confused about a decision. Now they don't. Now they're seeing something much more clearly. I feel like... I still feel like there's someone else here in your energy. Even though this is feeling more and more like an ex. I was feeling very haunted by the choices they made and who they're surrounded by. And they feel like they weren't seeing clearly and they wasted time and they went the wrong way. And it's like they turn the lights on and they're seeing the literal devil. It's like that's... They're praying for their soul, is what it feels like. And they could be very sick or unwell. Something's coming into clarity in regards to you. Um, they could have strategized with, with these people to do something as well, but it's like it's all clearing up. But it could also be someone around you here. There's someone here, I feel like, that's advocating for you. Yeah, conjunction, a union merging and coming together. Um... Yeah, house 12, some type of transcendence, healing. Something maybe they feel like they can't see. It's out of bounds. Maybe that is something that they feel like now they see in regards to you. Um, but they went towards their south node. Um, they were too worried about money and appearances. This could be a Leo. Um, they could have gone into opposition against you. House 8 with a Scorpio. This could have been about money, other people's money. There could have been something very insidious going on as far as endings for you. Um, Capricorn. Someone could be a Capricorn here. Or this was all for um, ambition, you know, career, making fake moves for money. Um... There could be a Gemini involved. There could be someone's sibling involved. Water could be significant. Um, spirituality, emotion, intuition, and, and compassion. I feel like that's what you had with someone. Um, yeah, Pluto, there's a big transformation going on here for someone. Um, Earth, seeing, seeing, seeing diligence in a different way persistence, patience, and practicality in a different way versus some type of fake adventure filled with lies and hatred, drama that only, yeah, the strategy did not work. Um, there could also be a Pisces involved with this house 12. Um, is there anything else... Um, King of Swords is in the upright. Devil Reverse. Maybe this is another masculine energy that is advocating for you. There's some sort of... There is a masculine energy here. Very just, clear, thinker. Um, that could be in your energy. This could also be Archangel Michael. This could be an investigator. Um, some sort of... There's something harmful and insidious here that this King of Swords sees. They could be protecting you. Somebody, I feel like someone wants to make something right, or someone is making something right. Maybe because someone's making something right, someone is like all of a sudden with that Pluto energy going through a huge transformation, like a death, and they're seeing something of the bigger picture. There's something about you being protected or defending yourself from a lot of people, a, a, a hor horrible situation yeah being this temperance angel keeping your composure patience using restraint being able to adapt um living in the middle way uh, very creative a creative perspective peaceful a good harmonious marriage partner as well um yeah not the right person to attack no, no reason to attack you you know, if someone felt bored by your, you know, inner peace, that they could have just kept it moving. They didn't have to participate in something so insidious. 
Um, but they're seeing how it's playing out in your life. I feel like they're definitely trying to make peace with God or see what they can do about this pact with the devil, essentially, you know, with his lovers here, whatever they got into. Very, very insidious, dark energy, toxic. There could be a lot of substance use here, hedonism. Yeah, it's all about this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Someone here is very temperamental, negligent, um, excessively afraid of failure, spends much, too much time on material things, judgmental, superficial. So that's who they followed. Um, and now they're very disillusioned. Um, yeah, they're not getting a blessing. They could be losing something big. They're not getting the prosperity. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles reversed. There's some type of a financial loss here. A huge financial loss. Seven of Pentacles reversed. You reap what you sow. Queen of Wands under the deck. They see you as like someone who's very independent. You're glowing. You're creative. You're attractive. Um, charismatic. Um... After all of that, you're, you're up in the upright. Um, so I feel like, yeah, they see you as like this, this person who's able to manifest, but it's through this like inner peace. It's the patience. It's the middle way. It's one step at a time. It's, but you also did everything on your own. This person broke a promise with you. They didn't help you. They worked against you with these people, and you took the burden on yourself. Or someone really burdened you for something very selfish that was destructive for their life, and now they feel haunted and worried about their own soul, and, and very afraid of, of this person or these people they connected themselves to. There could be another person here. Um, a King of Swords reverse, or they're worried because they were a King of Swords reverse in life and in t to you, malicious. And now they feel like they were... Yeah, they did this to a Six of Cups. Someone where all there was was good memories. Someone who was, there was like innocent love. You could have been very just innocently loved this person and they were malicious towards you to appease a group of people that were very toxic. They were in their ego. And they, they left you out in the cold. Um, there, there could have been actions that people took to make sure that you stayed out in the cold. They could have tried to affect your finances. So yeah, King of Swords, very malicious, an extreme injustice. They could be around these people now um, who are like trying to do more and they're, they're getting some clarity on how it's going to backfire. They could feel uh, a huge amount of um, guilt and they could feel empty inside. There, there's no love here. They were, they had love with you, um, and they didn't put the work in. And they can't. There's really no reason why. And they could be feeling love for you, or they see someone coming towards you with this loving energy. Um, they could be brokenhearted by it. So, I think we leave it there for now. Um, yeah, if you resonate, I hope it helps. Oh, the fan just went went onto its highest speed on its own. Oh. Kind of feels good. All right, if you resonate, I hope that it helps. And um, yeah, I, I do feel like there's someone else here. And I feel like that can be partially why this person's having having some type of like clarity um, about their choices. They might, they might be having financial issues or something and need to try to turn to someone for help. I feel like they might be having trouble getting help from anyone. 
as well. Yeah, that, this Five of Wands reverse, this could be somebody doing something very insidious energetically. A lot of projection or a group of people doing something. Five of Wands reverse, a lot of insidious projections, especially with this Devil card connected to this Wife reverse. You know, like a High Priestess reverse, someone who does very, you know, taps into lower vibrational spiritual energy. Um, I feel like someone could be sick as well and... The whole thing feels very dangerous to someone now. Being your foe. Yeah. They could have tried to stop you from getting any help professionally as well. That could be backfiring for them now. For sure it is. There's some problem. You reap what you sow. There's a problem with money here. They're very disillusioned, unhappy. Um... All right, we'll leave it there. If you resonate, I hope that it helps. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.